Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, machines and machine freaks. I am here with Cole. We are working on the crush carrier. He's uh, removing a little bit of stripping there. Cole's getting his stripping on. Pull out the dollar bills, ladies and gentlemen. What he's doing is he's going to remove this, this edge here. As you can see, we have a huge hole right here. We removed the sliding glass door that was in there. It's currently right here in three different pieces. I'd like to start siding this thing and getting materials to side this thing. Eventually, I wanna paint it. But for right now, it just can't look like this. We need to put insulation in here. We need to put aluminum on top of that insulation. Because otherwise, we're gonna be driving down the road and this thing's just gonna fall apart and it won't work. Damn wow. Now, when I first got this thing it was hooked up to an addition and that addition had this little piece of aluminum running across here probably to the back of the air conditioning system right around that area so there was just all this aluminum hanging over they tarred it all so it doesn't look very good up there so that's why we're just gonna remove this and just get new stuff so yeah the 3d machines team is working on the crush carrier and swoosh just like that we have the other side well this side that we're currently working on done the door frame is now installed again now all we gotta do is put the doors in once we put these last couple pieces in to hang on because what happens here is you have this one door because there's two doors you have this one door that is able to open and close but the second door likes to stay locked and it's all up to your preference but when we're driving around and stuff we don't need two doors so we'll probably lock it like it originally was supposed to be now we're just working on the face here but that looks so much better making moves however we're making so many moves that our battery died and today we only have one battery so we're gonna go visit the grandmother and see how she's doing uh. all right we lost coal i'm in the duramax alone when no. Damn wow. The trailer, the camper doesn't move as quick as a lot of people think, including myself. I'm I'm one of those victims that fall uh, for the fact that, you know, things should move faster than they do, but the, the truth is, is they really just don't. That's okay, our day wasn't like a failure or anything. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been like the, the one guy, we saw a dump truck that had tipped over uh, right by the shop and didn't have my camera, otherwise I would have filmed it. So the, the day can always be worse. You gotta remember that. So we're gonna head up to the shop. Uh, we're not gonna call it quits just yet. We might work on the Duramax. I do have a package. Uh, I hope it's the PCM. Uh, there's the first cop. Now we got the second cop here. And they were just at the hotel. Now they're off to some results. I think the cops got duped because there was like 15 of them at the one place. Now these two are going some results. I think someone's doing the old dip and dodge. So you guys know I bought this Jeep and we found out that it has a six cylinder when it originally came with a four cylinder and that kind of screwed things up because that's just not how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to have a four cylinder. I wanted a six cylinder when I was buying a Jeep. So this is what I bought. So the PCM on this thing sits right behind the battery. Well, that one that's currently on, it's not allowing the thing to run. So I ordered one, I, I went to eBay, um, because there, there was actually a company that, you know, advertised well on eBay. I found them on eBay before. Anyways, they needed a VIN for both the vehicle and the engine that it went to. Well, we didn't have the VIN to the, to the original engine. So what I went ahead and did was went to the scrapyard, found a Jeep that it was exactly what we needed. It just didn't have the PCM and gave them that VIN. From there, they started programming it. Then they told me that it's a 96. The one that I current, that I gave them, they said it was a 96. This is a 97, the engine supposedly is a 99. We're not sure if it's completely going to work, but I said, you know what? Send it anyways because I, there's no there's no other VIN that I can give you. I don't have a 99 Jeep Wrangler that has a four cylinder, it has a standard transmission, that has you know four wheel drive. I, I just can't do that. So they canceled my order. And I'm looking at the email and it says, you know, your eBay purchase has been canceled. And then they send another one because you pay with different payment methods. Your your purchase has been canceled. And I'm like, oh what the heck? So I called them up, they said, yeah, we had to cancel it because we have to abide by eBay's rules. We're still gonna send it to you. We just had to cancel it, so I'm like, okay, perfect. We're still gonna get it. So we're, I'm hoping that it's in the box right here. So I would like to move that Jeep ahead, crush ahead, the camper ahead, all these things ahead, but the Jeep, I'm, I'm kinda I'm kind of digging the, uh, crush is like 99% done. I'm really digging the Jeep with the camper. I'll tell you guys the truth, I already have an awesome mod for the Jeep, so we kinda need this PCM to go. Anyways, let's see. It. Well, it's not a PCM, but they are hot. Okay, this definitely is not a PCM, but those are definitely my style. So false alarm on the PCM here. I know what these are. These are oil filters for Crush. I have a race May 26th. All the info will be in the comment section, so check that out if you're anywhere near Ohio. It's in Millfield. Uh, I'll race at 4 p.m. on Saturday, and then Jake and Seth and his family will race on Sunday. 
So if you can come by Saturday or Sunday, I think your admission covers both those days, so you can come on out and see the uh, team machine. This is what we need. I bought two of them. I don't know what the oil changing process is going to be now that I have a skid plate on. You know, you need a skid plate when you race because you need that extra protection. I also bought some more heavy duty wire for the kill switch because if you guys have paid attention in the last couple videos, you've heard the, that crush doesn't turn over as fast. <laughs> And I think it has something to do with this cable. This is the only variable that changed. So I'm going to replace that. Now, of course, it's not easy where it's just, just a nice straight line. It's got to go up over the dash, over through here, by the transmission tunnel, over into your battery, which is right there. So we took out the seat for the thousandth time last time. So now we're going to have to take it off for the thousand and one time. Crush, I can't believe the race is almost here again, buddy. We're, we gotta finish this time. I think the last time we went for like 22 minutes and the first lap we followed like three people and they went the wrong way. So we almost got into an accident because one guy, it was like a figure eight race. I was going in vertically, somebody else was coming in horizontally and it was going to be chaos if we were like one or two seconds off. Luckily nothing happened, but this time around I'm not going to follow where everybody else is going. I'm going to follow the signs and Crush's instincts. I gotta work on the Duramax now. All right, you guys. I just rotated my tires, didn't have enough time to change my oil and change my transmission fluid. I will have to do that very, very soon because as you guys know, that race is here and that trip is like six hours away. We don't want to run the D-Max on old oil. We want to change her, treat the D-Max good. Hope you guys enjoyed this short little 3D Machines production. Stay fresh, stay super fly. Until next time, 3D Machines out.